It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl today. Two outstanding elementary schools here to play our game. Let's meet them right now. First from Avalon Elementary, please say hello to Ian Brown, Adrian Agari, and Princess Nichols. And from Laurel Elementary, here they are, Devin Willis, Evelyn Stills, and Ann Sharon Akbar. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's Science Potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to the difficulty of the questions. The easier ones are on the left, worth 5 and 10 points. The tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. The end of the two rounds today, one of these two good-looking teams will go on to play another game and perhaps advance to this year's quarterfinals. Let's go over and make sure that everything's working properly. Let's go first to the red team. Adrian, would you try your buzzer for us? Thank you, young man. Good luck to you, to Princess and to Ian. And Evelyn, would you try yours? It too seems to be in fine working order. Good luck to you, to Ann Sharon and to Devin. Are we ready, guys? Yes. Let's do this. Let's have a great game. We go alphabetically. We go A before L. So Avalon and Adrian, let's play the bowl. Give me a category and a number. Dateline Science for 25. Dateline for 25, the big one in that category teams, low water levels at Lake Mead behind Hoover Dam are so low that they can't generate enough electricity because they can't turn these T initial generators. Turbines. What are they called, Laurel? I'll take this to Devin. Devin? Turbines. Turbines is absolutely right. You got yourself 25 points to start the game. Go, Laurel. Uh, let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points, teams. Scientists have found that it is snowing on Mars. It's not water snow, it is dry ice snow, which means that it is the frozen version of what gas? Avalon. Water vapor? Not water vapor. What is the gas that is making the dry ice snow on Mars? What do you think? Evelyn? Hail. No, carbon dioxide. Frozen carbon dioxide is dry ice. That's what that snow is made of. Good try. Go again, green. Body systems for 10 points. Body systems for 10 points, teams. It is the UVB rays that change the cholesterol in your skin into this vitamin. What vitamin is it that forms, Avalon? Hmm. Vitamin D. Vitamin D, it is absolutely right. That's why you go outside and have some fun running around, getting on your bicycle. I know Princess likes to ride. Vitamin D when you're outside. Good answer. Good comeback. 60 to 75. Red, go. Zoo Parade for 25. Zoo Parade for 25 points, teams. Some of you may remember Dolly the sheep. She was historic. Dolly had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Its name was Bonnie, but she was born differently from her mom. She was born naturally while Dolly was this. Avalon. A lamb? No, no. I'm looking for the way that Dolly was born. Dolly the sheep was famous. And she had a baby called Bonnie. Bonnie was born normally, but Dolly the sheep, she was born what way? Gold. Cloned. She was cloned. She was the first cloned animal. She was the cloned sheep. 
No points. That's the hazard of going for 25 point questions. You know those are going to be tough going in. Try again, Adrian. Let's get physical for 25. Get physical for 25 points. Teams, the closeness of the moon to Earth varies because the moon's orbit is not circular. It is in this E-initialed shape. All right, Avalon. Egg shape? Again, please. Egg shaped. Egg shaped. Judges, no. Laurel? This E-initialed shape is the shape of the moon's orbit. It is not circular, which is why the moon's closeness to the Earth varies. Oval? Had to begin with an E. Elliptical. It's elliptical. Tough question. That's why we assigned it a 25-point value. Try again, Red. Signs potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points, a multiple choice question. Teams, we know that tea is good for you, but don't drink it with milk because milk blocks out which of the following good portions of the tea? Antioxidant, antipyretic, or antibiotic? Antibiotic. Laurel, not antibiotic. Tea is very good for you, but milk negates its good properties. Are they the antibiotic properties, antipyretic, or antioxidant properties? Excuse me, it's now the red team. Antioxidant. Judges, yes. Antioxidant it is. Yes, good. Good comeback. Go, Adrian. Okay. Body system. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Take a look at the monitor in the studio, please. This is the question. Teams, this is a familiar plant. These pods open up and tiny little seeds fly out. It's a favorite plant of the butterfly. And this white fluff is sometimes used as vest material in place of the down of ducks. Can you name that plant? For 25 points, Avalon. Dandelions. Good try. It's on a dandelion. Laurel, can you tell us this plant with the pods filled with this fluff? Cotton. Milkweed. Milkweed. That's the plant that the butterfly, the monarch butterfly, feeds on to get the poison so that no other insect will eat it. All right. Red. Dayline signs for 20. Dayline for 20 points, teams. The Russian Soyuz spacecraft is the only way for American astronauts to now get to the ISS. What is the ISS? Laurel. I'll take this to Devin. Devin. International Space Station. Yes, indeed. The International Space Station. Nicely done, Devin. And with that, the buzzer is rung. We've come to the end of the first round. Low in points, but high in action. 85 for Avalon, 95 for Laurel. We'll be back with round two of Science Ball in just a moment. Don't go away. Hi, I'm Jordan Sparks, and my I Matter You campaign is all about making a difference, and SOS Children's Villages does just that. I cannot believe how many children SOS has helped around the world by building villages, helping abandoned children, and giving them a mother and house to grow up in. I'm calling on everyone that I know to support SOS in their efforts to help kids at risk of abandonment in countries like Sudan, Vietnam, and Haiti. SOS helps these children over the long term, and you can make a real difference in a child's life. M-A-D, making a difference. That's what it's all about, and SOS is one of the best. You've got to check them out on SOSUSA.org. SOS Children's Villages gives homes and hope to children in need all around the world. Join SOS and Jordan Sparks in making a difference. Visit SOSUSA.org to learn more. And welcome back to Science. Well, thanks for spending part of your day with us. Here we are, our 27th year of competition in the Prince George's County Public Schools, and our students keep getting better and better and better. And we've got six 
outstanding young people here today. Let's meet them right now. Let's go to Avalon Elementary School. And you're awaiting a brand new school down there, aren't you? Yes. yes. Yeah, but you guys, it doesn't matter where you are. You're going to do well. Adrian, tell us about Avalon. Who's your principal? Miss Dr. Bruce. Dr. Bruce out there rooting for you. And Miss Grubb, Miss Elena Grubb is your sponsor, right? Right. She works so hard with this team, and we thank Elena for all of her, all her hard work. And you had three alternates, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, like a shadow team back there. Who are they, Adrian? We have Vernon Wade, Amani Dow, and Jasmine Dunham. Very good. See, it's good to have some, a couple extra heads there to help you remember a list like that. You did a nice job. And they'll be out along with Miss Grubb in just a few moments. Tell me about Avalon. What do you brag about? What's really great about that school? The teachers. Boy, I love how you, boom, didn't hesitate one bit. Teachers make it. Without great teachers, I don't care how beautiful the building is. It just isn't a great place. Thanks, Adrian. Uh, you're a boxer, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. What'd you, how'd you take up boxing? Well, one day I went to my mom's work. Well, she had a meeting, mm -hmm. so we had to sit in a room. And then one of the people that worked with her asked, asked me if I wanted to learn how to box. And the rest is history, right? Yes. Yeah, that's great. Now, do you want to be a professional someday? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if that doesn't work out, do you have plan B? What else are you thinking about? Well, I'm not really thinking of anything else. Well, that's good. It's good to have a passion and a commitment to it, and uh, just make sure you protect yourself, all right? Yes. That's a rough sport. Princess, nice to have you with us today. You told me earlier you've been looking forward to this for a long time, haven't you? Yes. And finally, you're here. Uh, does it feel comfortable yet? Yes. Yeah, well, you look comfortable over there. Tell me about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? I love, pl I love playing my computers, and I like fishing, and I like horseback riding. Wow, fishing. Yeah, what do you fish for? Basically anything we can actually catch. <laughs> That's a great answer. Anything that'll bite, we'll take it. Uh, what do you want to do professionally someday? Probably be a veterinarian. Yeah, because you told me you have a fish at home. Uh, you've got a dog, right? That mixed breed. What's your dog's name? Buddy. Buddy. And what's the other pet you have? Casper. He's yeah. a cat. The cat. Wow, you've got a little menagerie going over there. Keep up your nice work in the second half. Ian, you're a good player. You keep whispering to Adrian all the time. I like your spirit. you got some hustle over there. Tell me about yourself. What's your story? What do you do in your spare time? I just read books and play games whenever I can. Yeah, what kind of books do you like? I like I like big chapter books like um, Percy Jackson. Absolutely. Oh, those are good ones, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And, boy, readers do real well on this program, and you, they'll do real well in life. So just keep up reading. It's just a perfect preparation for whatever you want to do. What do you see yourself doing professionally? I see myself being a scientist. Yeah, well, you're making a good start here. And maybe you'll look back one day when you're getting the Nobel Prize and say, I remember when I was on Science Bowl. We hope to see you then. Keep up your good work. Laurel, nice to have you guys here. Evelyn, you and, and Sharon have on the safety patrol sashes over there. Yeah. That's, that's a big responsibility. Where's your station at school? What do you do? I like to help out 6th Street. That's very good. And, and Sharon, what do you do? I help out 6th Street, too. Yeah, so that's, you've got that badge and that sash for a reason. You've got to uh, be very adult when you get to school. You can't be a kid anymore, but uh, I admire you doing that. Tell me about Laurel. Who's your principal, Evelyn? Melinda Lee. Wonderful. I know how impressed she is by all that you've done and how supportive she is. And who's the sponsor of your team? Miss Blake. Miss Blake, boy, she has been emailing constantly. She is ready for this. And I know you guys just moved back to your school, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. How is it? Is it all right? Yes, yes it's brand new. Brand. Oh, boy. There's nothing like brand new, is there? Mm -hmm. the, you're the first one to make your impression starting out your own history in that building there. Uh, any alternates on your team, Evelyn? Uh, Ulysses Benitez and Jada Williams. Boy, you know those off the heart, don't you? They'll be out just a few moments along with Miss Blake. Tell me about yourself. I know you like modeling. Yeah. You look like a model already. You're a very attractive young lady. How would you get interested in modeling? Well, I took some advice from my grandmother. She was a model once when she was about 13, my age. Yeah, so you're following in the family footsteps there. I think that's wonderful. What do you do in your spare time? I like to play with my brothers and read. And read. And what kind of books do you like? Do you like Pricey chapter books Jacks. too? Yeah, Pricey Jackson and the Magic Tree House. Wonderful. Well, you keep up your reading as well. And Sharon, tell me about yourself. You're a fourth grader. All of our other players today are fifth graders. You must have really stood out. Why did they pick you? Because I'm very good in science. 
And pretty much that's all. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only qualification you need here today. If you're good in science, this is the place you should be. What do you want to do when you get older? I want to be a heart specialist. Yeah, so you want to be a doctor. you got a lot of schooling ahead of you. Why did you get interested in the heart? Because my dad had a heart, um, heart problem, and then I saw how the doctor saved my dad's life. So that's when I want to be a heart specialist. Beautiful story. How's your dad today? Is he all right? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Thanks for sharing that with us. Devin, you are a sharp young man. You're coming up with these answers left and right. How do you know so much about science? Well, I just pick them up from places. Yeah, well, you're obviously a very good student, and you're observant. You see what's going on around you. What do you want to do someday? I want to, be, I want to go to college, earn my master's degree, and become a doctor. Become a doctor. So you and Ann Sharon want to be doctors both. Do you want to specialize? Do you have an interest like she does in the heart? Do you have something else in mind, maybe? Um, probably the brain. Probably the brain. All right. You'll be a neurosurgeon someday. I can see you like that, like Ben Carson up in Baltimore, that famed surgeon. So... Uh, Keep up your good work. You're a disciplined young man. Let's get back to our game. 85 for Avalon, 95 for Laurel. Lots of points to give away yet. Last correct answer came from the green team. So, Evelyn, start us out. Green things for 10 points. Green things for 10 points. Teams, they recently found on an island in the Indian Ocean a cricket that would do this for a plant that normally other insects like moths and butterflies and bees do. Pollinate. Avalon? Pollinate. Pollinate, yeah, it's a pollinating cricket. We've never seen that before. Normally the cricket eats the flower, but in this case, it's helping it out. Good answer. Go, Red. Tie score, 95 all. Dateline for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, when an animal, like a deer mouse, has a disease that it passes along to a human being, like the hantavirus that it does, if the mouse itself, if the animal itself does not get the disease, it's known as what kind of H-initialed animal? Avalon. Hybrid? Not a hybrid. That's a good answer, though. If an animal passes along a disease but does not get the disease itself, what kind of H-initialed animal is that called? I'll give it to Devin. Devin? A host. A host is absolutely right. Good answer. Both teams. Points go to Laurel. Thank you. Devin, go Evelyn. Uh, zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. Teams, this little crustacean that's sometimes found on the sides of ships, along with mermaid... <laughs> Avalon. What? Barnacles. Barnacles? Barnacle it is. Absolutely right. I was about to say Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy from Spongebob. And uh, you didn't even need that clue. Nice answer, Ian. Go red. Okay. Zoo Parade for 20. Zoo Parade for 20 points. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you dare. These are some of the biggest insects on Earth. The Lord Howe Island stick insect. So big is it that they give it a nickname. It is called the land version of this giant clawed tasty arthropod. <laughs> Evelyn. I'll give this to Devin. Devin. A lobster. Yes, they call it a land lobster, but I wouldn't want to eat one of those. All right, go green. 130 to 100 for Evelyn. Still for close game. Evelyn, please. Mm -hmm. Zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. Team's the fastest man on earth, Usain Bolt. Got the gold medal at the Olympics. He lost a race recently to a robotic version of this fastest feline on Earth. Avalon. Cheetah. Yeah, the cheetah. Thank you, Princess, for your assist there. He lost by just a little. Go red. Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points. Teams, the skeletons of polyps that are found on the bottom of the ocean are the places where Nemo and his friends hide out. Evelyn? Uh, anemone. Not the anemone. Good try. Laurel, these skeletons of polyps on the bottom of the ocean are places where Nemo and his friends can hide out. Coral reef. Coral reef. Coral reef. Yes, the polyp was your clue there. Good try. I can see why you jumped to anemone. Go green. Dateline signs for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, in your lifetime, Traffic accidents might be a thing of the past because the new cars can do this themselves. Drive, them, drive themselves? They drive themselves. Absolutely right. You just sit back and hope for the best. Go red. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, deaf gerbils recently got their hearing back because science has implanted in them human versions of these cells. Hearing aids. Avalon. Hearing aids? Not hearing aids, no. 
Avalon, the kinds of cells that were implanted inside these deaf gerbils were the kinds of cells that have the same name as the stock of a plant. The stem? Stem cells, absolutely right. They took human stem cells and somehow they were able to get the hearing restored in those gerbils. Something that's very encouraging for people who have hearing problems. All right, 155, 115, green advantage. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, if something has very deep support, it is likened to these parts of the grass plant. Avalon. Leaves. Not the leaves. Laurel, if something has very deep support, it is likened to these parts of the grass plant. I'll give this to Devin. Devin. Roots. The roots, yes, they call it the grass roots support. Go, green. Nice answer. Green, thi green things for 15 points. Green things for 15 points. Teams, Nationals baseball star Bryce Harper is often seen with a seed in his teeth. Avalon? Sunflower seed? Yeah, it's a sunflower seed. I was about to say that comes from the most phototropic of all flowers, the sunflower it is. Thank you, Princess, for your assist there. Go red. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, stomates are little openings on leaves that let gases go in and out, oxygen and carbon dioxide. On water lily plants, those stomates are found in an unusual place. Where on the leaves are they found on water lily plants? Avalon. Petals? Not the petals, no. On water lily plants, where do you find the stomates that let the gases go in and out? I'll give this to Devin. Devin? Or on a flower? No, 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 flower. I don't know that uh, we were that clear as we should have been. On the leaves, normally the stomates are on the underside. But of course, if you're a water lily, you're in the water. So it has to be on the top. The openings are on the top and not the bottom. That's where we were headed. Nice try, teams. Go red. Science potpourri for 20. Science potpourri for 20 points. Teams, when Edward Jenner was trying to come up with a medicine to treat smallpox, he used a cow in his experiment. And because of the Latin name for cow, these injections that we now get for smallpox and other kinds of diseases are called what? Avalon? Bovine? Not bovine. Good try. The injections that we get to treat diseases like, or to prevent diseases like smallpox and other diseases, are given this name because of the Latin name for cow. A vaccine. A vaccine, absolutely right, because vaca is the name for cow. Nice comeback there. Nice try with bovine, too. Go green. Science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, there's a new book out called Gross Science. There's a whole chapter about assembling skeletons from this wise bird's puke. Avalon. Owl. Owls, that's right. Owl pellets that you can dissect and get out the little bones from the mice and the poor shrews and put them back together. Thanks, Ian. Go red. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Too many young people your age are developing high blood pressure because you're eating too much of this condiment. Sodium. Laurel. Sodium. Sodium, yes, indeed. Found in salt. Go. Green. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, in the old Christmas song, if you told Santa all you wanted for Christmas was a pair of incisors, you'd be asking for these body parts, Laurel. Your two front teeth. Your two front teeth. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Okay, go green. Let's get physical for 10 points. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, Vesta is an asteroid, which like all other asteroids, could have been a planet, but it got pulled in by the gravity of what? Avalon. Jupiter? Yeah, Jupiter, because the asteroids are between Mars and Jupiter. Nice answer. Good teamwork there. Go red. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Since if you're on your bike and you're going fast and the red light comes up and you have to stop quickly, all that lost kinetic energy, too bad you can't convert it into what other kind of energy so you can get back up to speed, Avalon. Friction. Not friction. Good try. All that lost kinetic energy when you slam on the brakes, too bad you can't convert it to this other kind of energy to get you back up to speed when the light changes. Negative. Potential energy. Kinetic and potential energy. That's what we were looking for, the contrast there. Go red. 145 to 195. You're 50 points down. 
Body systems for 25. That's the way to do it. Body systems for 55 for 25 points. Teams, there's a television commercial with a little hedgehog for a, a company called Fluzone. He's advertising tiny little needles for intradermal injections. What are intradermal injections for 25 points? Avalon. Shots. Uh, we need to be more specific than that. For 25 points, can you tell me, Laurel, what intradermal injections are? Advertised by a little hedgehog with tiny needles for a company called Fluzone. Porcupines? He looks like a porcupine, doesn't it? Intradermal means within the skin, not into the muscle, just within the skin. Dermal was your clue there. Go again, red. Four questions left. Okay. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Multiple choice question. In Alice in Wonderland, you may remember that Alice got very, very tiny, and then she got very, very big. She must have had a widely variable which of the following glands? Pancreas, pituitary, or adrenal? Which of those three must have been acting really wildly in Alice in Wonderland? Uh, Avalon? Is this to Devin? Devin? Um, adrenal. Not the adrenal gland, not the adrenal gland. The pituitary, the pancreas, or the adrenal, wildly varying amounts of hormone from it. Which one made Alice get very tall and then very short? Um, the first one? The pituitary? It is the pituitary. Absolutely right. And the buzzer has rung. Our game is over, and it looks like Laurel has done it. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't go away. Play might be the best way to fight obesity. Because staying connected makes my family stronger, healthier, and happier. Because a safe place after school can lead to success in school. Because physical activity is vital to my health and well-being. Because I need to make my world better. Because playing team sports teaches the character and social skills that build leaders. Because learning with others makes for a greater understanding. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. Welcome back. What a great game today. Everybody is a winner here. We're so proud of all six of our players. You guys could not have done any better. Give yourselves a hand. Great job today, Avalon and Laurel. Our final tally, Avalon 165, Laurel 195. Congratulations, Devin. That's the first smile I've seen all day. He's been so intense over there. Evelyn and Ann Sharon, congratulations. Ulysses is standing back there. Wave to everybody, Ulysses. And also we've got Jada and Miss Blake. I know how happy you are. We'll see you in the next round. I want to see some smiles over here. You guys played a super game. Ian and Adrian and Princess. And there's the shadow team back there, Vernon. Jasmine and Imani, Miss Willie and Miss Grubb, thank you both for doing such a great job getting these young people prepared. You should be very proud of them as we are. We hope you enjoyed today's program. We'll see you next time on Science Bowl. Bye bye.